been two days since I took that pregnancy test. Uh, since then, that same day, I took four more. They were all negative. Um, after I took that pregnancy test, it was around 7 a.m. on a Sunday morning. I laid in my closet for two hours and I cried and cried and cried. <laughs> And then I, my like body was so stiff from laying on my closet floor for two hours and crying. So I got up and I climbed back into bed around nine and we were going to, we were going to go to the late service for church. So like Paul's alarm was set for like 1030. Um, I fell asleep and his alarm went off and I felt like I had just closed my eyes and slept for like maybe two seconds. I don't even know. <laughs> I did not sleep at all the night leading up to me taking the pregnancy test. I kept like tossing and turning, wait, looking at my phone to see what time it was, see what time it was. No one knew um, when I was going to be taking the pregnancy test. Paul didn't even know. I wanted to try to keep that a secret. He knew that like the day was getting closer, but he didn't know when. and. Because I, you know, obviously want to, like, try and surprise him when I do find out that I'm pregnant. It's weird, like, when you're literally trying, like, for doing fertility treatments and stuff. The whole, like, surprise of it all kind of goes away. Because everyone knows and that you're trying. And so, like, everyone's aware of your cycle and when your period's supposed to start. <laughs> So I've tried to keep a little bit of like secrecy and surprise to it. But anyways, I rolled over and Paul saw me and just immediately knew something was wrong. And he was like, what's wrong? And I just started bawling. It was like, today was the day I took the pregnancy test this morning. And it came back negative. And he was just like, ah. So we just laid there for a while and he just held me while I cried. And yeah, I don't know, guys, like today and yesterday, I really just feel and have felt the joy of the Lord. Like, I don't know, I cried a lot on Sunday, like the day that I found out. And I felt just very sad, obviously, and just had so many things rushing through my mind of just like, now I have to tell everyone that knew, like, that I was trying, I have to tell them that it didn't work, and blah, 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 just whatever, all these thoughts. And of course, like, you want to, I want to immediately blame myself for not being able to get pregnant. Um, but that's just not helpful or beneficial at all and like at one point I think I was crying and I just said I'm so sorry to Paul and he was like what are you sorry for and I was like that I can't I haven't been able to give you a baby and he was like babe are you kidding me like I put that in the Lord's hands a long time ago I am not looking to you to provide me a child or whatever he's like that's not i don't ever look at you that way like don't worry about that and so obviously that was very sweet and comforting but you know it sucks <laughs> it sucks there's no better way to say it it just stinking sucks um all the the medicine that i'm taking it's like it didn't work what? But also I just think about the women who have had to do much more like intense treatments like IVF is way more intense than what I'm doing and like the injections every single day rather than just one time a month like so I know that like I have it way easier and hopefully it never gets to me having to do things like that which I don't think we would ever do IVF but anywho on to round two of treatments doing the trigger shot and the uh, medication to help me ovulate 
We'll see what comes of it. Hopefully a baby. I don't know how I'm gonna feel this like next round, like peeing on a pregnancy test. Like, am I gonna be more like okay with the fact that it's negative or is it gonna hit me just as hard as it did or what, you know? I don't know. I'm really um, just blown away by how okay I am. I thought that I would be out for a week. <laughs> Um, but just on Sunday, like little things that I just felt like the Lord was just putting joy, um, in me and providing that even in my sorrow. It was just like little things here and there that really still very much felt the joy of the Lord through this process of being let down. And yesterday and today I've just felt that, that joy and been really thankful for it and praising God for it and you know I just this is my reality and I just gotta go with it and no reason to be dark and sad and depressed all the time like might as well carry this lot in life so to speak with joy because that is something that the Lord promises, like joy in all circumstances. Here we go, on to the next adventure of trying. <laughs> Stay tuned. Round two. Who's gonna come out and check the, to make sure there's no air in my, in my shot? <laughs> That's this is the craziest thing. <laughs> this is insane. Until there's no air. Oh my god. There we go. Okay. This is crazy. That's good. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. I definitely got all the air out because sure. I pushed way too much up and now I'm scared. Okay, you get a little drop there, that's good. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I don't wanna watch. Oh, you don't wanna watch? You're not gonna watch? <laughs> Babe! Or are you watching? Yeah, I'm going to. Are you gonna hold your hand? You got this, it's my hand. You got this. Oh, See, it looks like nothing. Done and done! <laughs> it doesn't hurt? <sighs> really? No, it didn't hurt at all. Scary. <laughs> scary. Talk that about was, scary. It was just the initial like, oh, and I was like. <laughs> Did she make a face? No, you were still the champion. That was crazy. <laughs> I was over here being like. There's never even any like blood. Like there's just a tiny little. I wonder if it's because that view was literally it's so nice. soft. ignore the horrible backdrop right now <laughs> and the fact that I'm filming on my phone but tomorrow is month two of me taking a pregnancy test after round two of fertility treatment the trigger shots and whatnot and progesterone pills up my hoo-ha um, I feel like I know that I'm not pregnant, and I had my moment of sadness two days ago, and I'm sure that I'll face it again when I pee on the stupid stick and it says not pregnant. I'm kind of dreading that moment. <laughs> Maybe I'll be fine. I don't know. But I... I'm getting pretty tired of this. It's only been technically two rounds of the trigger shots and whatnot, which is two full cycles, but it's been 
almost five years of me trying to get pregnant. Of me spending month after month finding out that I'm not pregnant and my period is here. I'm just sick of it. <laughs> Honestly. I'm so tired of it. My heart hurts. My head hurts. My body hurts. <laughs> and I don't really know. I just want a baby. I want to stop feeling this weird, weird pain of <laughs> spending all month long doing what I need to do, taking the pills, doing the treatment, having the sex when you have to have the scheduled sex, and then finding out none of it worked. <sighs> frustrating I don't honestly know how to explain it so I'm not even gonna try I'll obviously film me peeing on the stick but I'm tired of filming negative tests <laughs> okay well see you soon I'm pregnant three days ago <laughs> and so that's like the day that I really had my like sorrow and weeping but I knew like okay I still have to take a pregnancy test whatever to check so that I stop taking progesterone if it says not pregnant so that my period will start um I am, um, I think I'm most frustrated with myself because I knew I wasn't pregnant three days ago. I took a pregnancy test this morning, not pregnant, but I was like, mm, not going to trust that until I take a digital one. And like, I knew that I was going to take this test and it was going to say not pregnant, but there was this little, little tiny piece of me that was just thinking like, well, it could say pregnant. You never know. When I shouldn't have even allowed those thoughts to run through my mind because I knew I wasn't pregnant. <laughs> I'm just like, even three days ago when I was like, oh, I, I'm not pregnant. Like I'm feeling these symptoms that I was feeling last time. Like I'm not pregnant. 
um, I still just, like, held on to a little piece of hope that was like, but you never, like, you could still, you could, but you haven't taken a test yet. Like, I should have just not even allowed those. And, like, thinking, like, oh, wouldn't it be so cool to be, like, filming myself? And I'm, like, totally expecting a not pregnant sign and the pregnant comes up. Like, it's, it's so stupid. It's, it's literally so dumb. I'm so sick of taking those stupid tests and the digital screen saying not pregnant. Oh, it hurts. It hurts really bad. Well, off to Florida we go. <laughs> Which means we won't be able to do treatment this month, so. I don't know what to think or feel anymore.